And what is happening? The body of Christ. The devil is rendering havoc in the body of Christ. Because those whom, call, whom God has called to teach in the church, the apostles, the prophets, the teachers, the evangelists, they are busy attacking each other. And the church is wallowing in ignorance. And the Bible says, when where ignorance prevails, my children perish. Hosea 4.6 did you hear what I said? God said, where ignorance, where ignorance prevails, what happens? My children, they perish. The greatest weakness of a child of God is ignorance. Once you allow ignorance in your life, oh my God, you are doomed. The disciples wanted Jesus to stay here on earth. But Jesus told Peter, Peter, you don't need me to stay here. What you need is my spirit. What you need is the Holy Ghost. When the Comforter comes, he will teach you all things. He will lead you into the old truth. That is the number one thing. That is the number one purpose of the Holy Spirit. The number one purpose of the Holy Spirit is to teach us to know our God. What does the Bible say? They that know, they that know, they that know their God. They shall be what? They shall be strong. You want strength in the midst of ignorance. It doesn't work. You want to be strong, you need to know. You want to be strong in the Lord? You need to know. Strength is on the basis of knowledge. How knowledgeable you are de determines how strong of a child of God or how strong of a Christian that you are. How strong of a person that you become. You can't be strong in ignorance. You can't. When it comes to Christianity, it is about knowledge. 